I have to confess something. I, I did not keep up with the Kardashians. Are we sure that isn't Donald Trump in a Caitlyn Jenner wig? Because, I mean, look at this. The resemblance is uncanny. This, I mean, they really, they've got all the same kind of moves. Okay, first him and now her. Here is her response. Uh, last night, Jimmy Kimmel called me Donald Trump in a wig. He obviously believes that trans women are simply men with wigs on. Where is the outrage from the left or the LGBT community, uh, LGBT community? Being woke must be optional if you are a Democrat. And that's it, isn't it, Isabel? That is exactly true. And I find this so interesting that humor and comedy honestly just isn't funny in modern day America. You look at these late night show hosts like Jimmy Kimmel, you watch SNL recently. None of these jokes are actually humorous and in reality miss the mark on American culture today. How interesting and ironic that the people who call themselves woke are actually so asleep, their eyes are closed to what the reality of American culture is today, what is funny, what American people want to hear on late night shows and in comedy today. And instead, they're just interested in canceling anybody who disagrees with their particular worldview. Yeah, it's true. And to be funny on these late night shows, you have to skewer the powerful, but you have to do it in a way that's consistent. And, you know, Ari, what we only see is, you know, people like Jimmy Kimmel, who's appeared in blackface himself, skewer people on the right. Uh, and it's not that funny when you, when you don't, you're not an equal opportunity comedian. No, and I'm dating myself with this, but Saturday Night Live, when they were ripping Trump and Bush, I'm sorry, when they were ripping Trump, it wasn't very funny, but when they were ripping Bush and Clinton and Perot and they were equal opportunists, everybody was fair game. That's when the last time I remember the show being funny, or when they used to go after Al Gore and George Bush, it was just whatever was funny at that given time. That actually worked, but now they have no sense of humor anymore. Think back to the double standard just last week when you saw Hunter Biden's text messages using the N word. Can you imagine if that had been one of the Trump kids, what would have happened to them? It would have been a national story still on the front page even today asking about the ramifications and the fallout and what the Trump administration was going to do about it. Yeah, no, we did. We talked to Donald Trump Jr. about that very thing, uh, that interview. Uh, folks can catch it on Newsmax.com. But we're going to run there. Ari, Isabel, Dan, great to see you all. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you again next week. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.